starting back into a very ominous choice of music there oh, look at that Are we in a position to attack anyone around us? Them, kinda. The religious liberation. the kingdom of Georgia as their allies so they are not a target for us Usalem is currently fighting the Knights Templar big uh, we are just surrounded by huge players now no good direction for us to go with any sort of war I mean, they're fighting Anatolia over Tripoli still don't want an alliance with us they're probably going to lose Tripoli here. I mean, there's still these tiny states out here. All Serene Republic of Venice. Well, there's this one tiny thing out there. Everything else belongs to someone or something. They're probably not going to do too well in their uprising. They have only 4,000 troops against 15,000. So we'll just let time become a deciding factor. We have a Saint's Fingerbone added to our treasury after having given some similar such artifact away. Famous Herod, well versed in the diplomatic protocol, has arrived at court. He is proposing his services to our Chamberlain. Uh, no, to us and our Chamberlain, is saying that we can make good use of this man. Yes, let's ask the king at war to spend some time with us. Fantastic. There we go. They are now to be married. Up with her. Ah, uh, she's a... He's a giant. But he's not a big fan. Okay. Go for this. Do we want an alliance at this point? They are fighting Sy Oh no, they're... No, they're fighting Syria. 22, we... <laughs> There's nothing we can do about it. I mean, they're also fighting them. But they're weak. Except for maybe... They have... Georgia on their side. They're fighting everyone right now. They would be the best target for us. Oh, Georgia is gone now. Lovely. So, let's see. Um, They are Kurdish Sunni. Let's check the religion screen real quick. Most of these are Sunni. So I doubt a religious 
Liberation will work well for us. We could go for a border dispute and... I don't know, that is just... Ah, uh, no. Tributary doesn't make any sense. We just go for this little thing, the border dispute. It would grow us a little bit. See. Any other opportunities have presented themselves? Not as of now. I think we can stop swaying him. Doesn't want an alliance and at this point we don't want one either. Just having the non-aggression pact is good enough. Can we maybe go to war against an empire? We could establish a tributary state there. But then again, what for? Group-wise, we're okay-ish. Probably should stop having a mercenary army, but they will detach from us soon enough anyway. So let's build the castle town next to get some more income out of our holding. Just need to stay independent for a few more decades. Engage in theological debate, converting her back and castle town. So, what wars are we in? Made a friend, lovely. Holy war for cert. I mean, we could send in a few people in that. <sighs> it's all over here. But shouldn't the Holy Roman Empire have enough troops to just deal with it? I don't see their massive armies. There's one small one moving. We are in a really bad spot, theologically. One of our sons died? Oh yeah, he was the leader of our mercenary band. Died due to severe injuries. I mean, that's what the warrior lifestyle gives, yeah? Where are we in our pacts now? Don't have many left. We could become Catholic and ditch the Miaphysite. My daughter is now known as the unfaithful. That is ideal for you. 
That is not a good job you're doing there. Sadly died early on. <clears throat> oh, very good. Our court physician has become a renowned physician. Very good indeed. Making him even more useful vassal. We are no longer kind, which James sometimes sees really weirdly pop up where you lose something that you had for a while 15,000 and it's not even near full strength once these turn their eye on us we are in a real dire position we do something here order dispute about a suz a lub Let's go do that. Let's have a little border dispute war. Costs us money to start it. Uh, we're not going to call the Egyptians. We're going to call them in. And we'll raise our own armies. Achieve this goal. We're actually going to straight on there. Let's get some leaders going. His army is there. become charitable or kind kind I think give some vassal positive modifier that's a good thing to have Right, so our enemy is going to siege our capital, but we're going to take this first, and then we move up against him. Oh, a speculum regale has been added to our treasury. Everyone knows that I've spent... Uh... Oh, this is our book that we've written. Good. What, what does it do for us? Plus one diplomacy, plus five vassal opinion, and plus... 20 own children opinion, that's not bad. A huge amount, plus 20. Do you want of us? Penance. No, we don't want penance. Penance isn't fun. We want to do only fun things. Oh, what's this? Where did all these suddenly come from? Everyone is converting to something. Those are probably... Some mercenaries, I would say. So this might again end badly for us. Stacking into mountains is always perilous. We will wait here for his troops that he sent to reinforce his armies. Kill them. Then we go hunt those mercenaries.
Okay, they're coming together there. What are we attacking into? A desert? Not ideal. But whatever it is these days anymore. Long gone are the glorious days of perpetual successful warfare. As we now are reduced to picking the scraps around us. Hopes of finding someone, anyone, doesn't offer all that much resistance. And we can't go to siege in peace either. We have to continue pressuring them. We have to keep fighting, following. Press our advantage as long as we have it. Now we need to start on the siege here. And just let them be. We don't want the caravan. Oh look, they came to where we wanted to go anyway. Go on to battle once more. But we need to keep an eye on them. So they don't suddenly do this. Where they all of a sudden have... Way more than we see. So we need to do something now. And that is... Call in the Egyptians. Maybe they can help us. But I have my doubts. I feel like they have their own issues here. Uh, so we will look towards our own mercenary band, which is on contract, so we can't even hire them. Uh, okay. So... Maybe the Bulgarian band is up for hire again. Well, they have increased their prices. We want 27 gold. Oh yeah, that's the Bulgarian band. There we go. How much do we earn currently? That's not terrible. Let's add these real quick before we are surprise attacked. Okay, our dear cousin joins us. Let's take the Bulgarian band and harass them while our main army sieges. Give them some good military leaders. We have at least this man. Hopefully this will work. Oh, it might go wrong. It's going terribly wrong. Terribly wrong. Mercenaries are such unreliable folk. Fine. Our alliance has broken down. Ah, because she kind of noticed that we never joined her in her war. So let him be patient. I want this siege done. After that, we're going to attack him. And retake what he's taking. Let's put our good leaders into leadership again. Oh, what does he have? Way of the dog. Eating center plus 20%. That's where we want him anyway. Very good. We can afford the mercenaries a little bit longer, so that's okay. 
But the speed of the siege is uh, annoyingly slow. Now we need to fight them once more into the fray. Alright, we should win in just a moment. There we go. Stand down our troops. Can revoke his title, but there's only a maybe on him. That he is going to give it up. Oh, he has no troops whatsoever. So even if he does not... We should be fine! Where the insolence around here is just... baffling. So into the breach once more we go. But it is a small army and just this one county, so we will just take it, I suppose. Can't really do anything about it. Need a new court chaplain. Let's take someone who likes us good. Well, what? How do you have an ally all of a sudden? Right, okay then. Pause. We need to immediately bring in all the men of all the lands, of all our holdings, in hopes that the defensive bonus and our troops are good enough to defend long enough for reinforcements to... Nope. Definitely not happening. So we... Combined forces here. I am exasperated. And we're going to lose this group. They're probably going to just completely disappear, as is tradition with our troops. His get routed, our just... Yep, vanished again into thin air. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay, they're really low on morale, so I think I'm going to attack. Let's just do it like that. At this point... They just, for some reason, increase their morale and size in place. I am very often baffled by the things happening in this game. Yeah, I suppose it's time for mercenaries again. Ours are of course on contract, as is also tradition by now. The Bulgarian band going to make a reappearance for us. Because I don't trust our troops anymore. We don't have all that great of a numerical superiority. Very good. My former ward, Prince Daniel, has finished his... Uh, everything. He is humble. Uh, let's put him on council somewhere. What are you good at, my dear boy? You are good at... Uh, nothing much. So I suppose you will be our steward. I mean, it doesn't have to be. Why is he dull?
How did you become dull? How did that happen? Okay, we finish the siege, then we attack. Wait. Between all those things, one thing to really keep in mind here. I don't want to do penance, go away. Is that we're still independent between all these very, very dangerous and antagonistic enemies. Oh, the rise of the Hansa. It's actually pronounced Hansa. But if you speak English a lot, then you tend to try and pronounce it the way the English would. Drink to his honor. Let's have a new friend from our dynasty. We have taken our kinsmen hostage this war. Okay, how many troops? Yeah, more than half of what we have is this stuff. We can get a few more vassal levies. And that way we can stand down the mercenaries. So before we stand them down... The... Bulgarian band. Ah oh, no, after uh, that was the wrong one. I want to new unit. Where's the Bulgarian band? Here. So we take two thousand and seven hundred of the Bulgarian band and go hunt for the fleeing enemy army. And watch them be beaten again. By said enemy army. What? Where did their army go all of a sudden? There. Okay, they can't escape, so they have to face us here. We only have two flanks, which is usually not good. A center and two flanks. Now we stand down the Bulgarian band in its entirety. Put our troops back into ruling position, leading position. Oh, what's this? Way of the Tiger. And slowly this thing that shouldn't have been anything coming to a close. Hopefully. We still have a thousand man. But they are getting slaughtered by someone else. Oh no, we have a new heir. Who is a very good military leader and an elusive shadow. So we have inherited... His title again. He was killed by rebel collecting tax. Yeah. Time for a competent steward again. Muslim. Okay. That rarely happens that your tax collector dies like that. But I suppose it's fortunate in this case. What important decisions do we have? Go to court physician. Don't we have anyone capable? Of course we do. And there's new titles to be handed out. Go by lowest opinion with rank. This looks okay. Anatolia is facing a good amount 
of rebellions inside. Ah, we are being offered peace. Oh no, white piece. No, thank you. We're almost done. Almost have this in the bag. Oh no, my husband. Cancer. I don't want to die. Okay, we are facing some sort of naval troop landing. And they have ten that What? Why is a ten thousand army dropping on my head right now? And why are they attack What? What is this new hell? Okay, it's not ten thousand, but it's still enough. We only beat them because they had the naval landing malice. What is this? Why are they in this? Why are they What? Why are they fighting me? Okay, they're just hostile to us. So they... It's the first time I've ever seen something like that. They are hostile toward us, so they just send their troops to mess with us in a war. What? Okay, so this is now ours as well. Oh man. What religion are you? Off a side. Come on, people. Be like that. Lost our steward somehow. Probably by giving away this county. That that is likely what happened here. So we have gotten horses. This is hard living down here in Armenia. I know there are some tricks to get this early up by joining like the crusade against Egypt, things like that, but I prefer a more stressful and uncertain approach to this game. Generally speaking. So who else around us might be in a position of weakness? No one really. We must ensure that we don't become one of those. They want an alliance? No. You want an alliance, dear cousin? Oh well, well. well. 